welcome friends so now slowly we are coming to end of this course and during this whole course in last most than 35 sessions we have discussed different aspects of developing business on the basis of your innovation and innovation is the key word which was running all through these sessions now when we are doing innovation we also discussed that you have prediction disability you do not know whether the path which you have taken is correct or not correct what type of challenges are there in this path you require different types of resources these resources may be knowledge resources resources related to physical space resources related to monetary support and resources related to psychological support also all these things are required when you are going on this path so very popularly we call this path as the path of entrepreneurship but this path is not a easy path it has its own challenges therefore many of us are not very comfortable on moving on this path therefore we require a type of support a support system which can help us which can hold our hands when we think of walking on this path of entrepreneurship and that is the role done by incubators there are different types of incubators now in our country the concept started from the west from america particularly but now in india also you see good number of incubators in universities in iits in iims and even private incubators are also available and these incubators they are primarily doing the hand holding of those people those entrepreneurs who want to succeed but they have some kind of challenges in their path of success in achieving the objectives so therefore in this session we are going to discuss the concept of incubators business incubators are there technology incubators are there and nowadays we have a combination of technology business incubators tbis a very popular term in the ecosystem of incubation so all these things what is the process of incubation how do we differentiate between a technology incubator and a business incubator these things we are going to discuss in this particular session before we jump actually to the incubator it is very very important to understand the process of entrepreneurship because incubators are actually supporting the process of entrepreneurship the term incubator we all know is available from the concept of industry where particularly we talk of medical industry and uh, when early born are there and those early borns are difficult to survive you create artificial environment a protected environment for them so that uh, that early born newly born can be kept for one day two day three day four days in that protected environment and then once that baby has gained sufficient strength to face the challenges of real world 
then that baby comes out of incubator and then it is taken as a normal baby. So, same thing is in the business also your idea is there, but your idea does not have that much strength at the moment that it can stand on its own. Therefore, you require a support a place a kind of environment which is a protected environment and in that protected environment different types of support system is available. Like if you visit any incubator at a hospital where newly born babies are there. So, different types of support systems are available there are nurses 24 into 7 keeping watch on the activities of each baby in the incubator. They continuously monitor their temperatures, they continuously monitor their other vital parameters and when they feel that now baby is stabilizing, now the baby is able to face the challenges at that time they take the baby out from incubator. Family members are not allowed to go inside the incubator because it is a protected environment. Family members can bring lot of virus bacteria with them because you are coming from the opens. So, therefore, protection is required. Similarly, we are talking same kind of protection for our ideas, same kind of protection for our innovation and therefore, first we will discuss the role of entrepreneurship. Time and again we have discussed that entrepreneurship is very very important all modern leaders national heroes they are regularly talking of entrepreneurship and probably that is the reason we offered this course on innovation and entrepreneurship because it is the need of the hour. The father of entrepreneurship Schumpeter he also mentions in one of his article that entrepreneurship is critical factor for economic development because it is strongly related to the environment in which economic activities are started organized and conducted. So, this point we have emphasized very often that entrepreneurship is a very critical element for economic development. More entrepreneurs are there, more economic development of that area will take place. You take an example of India, some of the states in India where you have a large number of entrepreneurs and you can see that economic prosperity of those states that is much ahead of rest of the country, much higher than the average per capita income of rest of the country. For an example, Gujarat where entrepreneurship is in the blood of each citizen of Gujarat and therefore, economic prosperity of that state is much higher than the national average. So, entrepreneurship is very very important and now to flourish the entrepreneurship we need incubators. Now, considering that entrepreneurship can be understood as a chain of events that creates value. Now, it is important that in entrepreneurship when we are talking to start a new venture because entrepreneur is a flag bearer, he is a leader, he is first mover and he is starting a new kind of business, he is starting a new industry. In that case, uh, it is a journey full of risk and therefore, it is important to see the important processes in the journey of an entrepreneur, because we are saying that it is a chain of events that creates value. Now, what are those important events in this chain which are adding value, because that is very very important that uh, you identify 
value adding events in that chain and uh, what we are going to do that we are trying to categorize events on different basis and then we will see that what are the events. Now, some of the authors they have mentioned that in this entrepreneurial process two important activities are there. One is opportunity recognition and other is resource acquisition, opportunity recognition and resource acquisition. Now, as an entrepreneur first we recognize some opportunity that there is an opportunity. We have discussed this example earlier also like present time in India we have a very important issue that is Swachh Bharat Abhiyan SBA which is very high on the government's agenda. We want to make India clean, we want to make India a hygiene place. Now, as an entrepreneur in this objective of government of India, I can find large number of business opportunities because to make SBA possible, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan possible, we want uh, more and more cities, more and more states to come under the umbrella of ODF. And when we are talking of ODF, we require more and more toilets, we require more and more sanitation facilities and there are opportunities that how to build more cost effective toilets. In many areas you do not have sewer lines. So, what do you do with those toilets where sewer lines are not there? So, can we have more eco friendly bio toilets uh, so that these are easy to use because that is a very important problem if uh, proper water supply is not there. So, once somebody has used the toilet it becomes uh, non usable for the second person. So, all these things are part of opportunity recognition as an entrepreneur I can see the opportunities in all these things. Now, another issue is related to we want to move to paperless offices, we want to have more and more digitization in our offices. So, paperless offices are the requirement and uh, that is again an opportunity. Now, can I develop some of the applications uh, where it is possible to have less paperwork or eliminate the paperwork uh, and it is user friendly also. Normally, whenever we talk of uh, paperless offices we want to use uh, scanning machines for keeping the records, but can we have some more simpler options these are the opportunity recognition. So, you continuously when we discuss the idea management system in one of the initial sessions now we need to see that uh, how that idea management system will help you for an entrepreneur in the opportunity recognition that is the one part. And once you recognize the opportunity once you find that yes this is a possible business opportunity then the second important element of the process is resource acquisition and this resource is with respect to knowledge this is skills this is funds, this is machine, this is material, this is market. So, large number of different types of resources are required and you need to procure those resources. So, that you can create value out of all these resources, so that you can market your idea. So, these are two important processes in the entrepreneurial journey as per some of the authors. Then large number of authors have also given a different slightly different uh, way of presenting the entrepreneurial process and according to them there are 
three distinct stages in entrepreneurial process. The first is pre founding stage. Now, this is opportunity identification and evaluation as we discussed just now the opportunity recognition. So, that is recognition of opportunity that is pre founding stage. Then the founding stage comes where you develop your business plan, you acquire resources, incorporation and market entry that is the founding stage and then you go for the development of your business, scaling up of your business that is early development stage where you building the company and start market penetration. So, these are three different stages already we have discussed pre founding stage as opportunity recognition, the founding stage we have discussed as resource acquisition and the third stage which uh, this particular classification says that is the early development stage when you are penetrating into the market, you have incorporated a company and uh, now you are trying to scale up. So, you can say that uh, now you are trying to scale up. So, this third stage is of the scaling up. So, this third stage is particularly uh, not related to incubator. In incubator, we work with first two only because once you have graduated, you have come out of incubator, then this uh, uh, third stage comes into the uh, picture. So, now if we see one of the popular uh, uh, entrepreneurial process model given by Hishrik and Peters. So, this uh, Hishrik Peter model of entrepreneurial journey, you see that here four important uh, stages are mentioned. The first is innovation, then there are certain trigger points, then the implementation and then finally, the growth, the scaling up. So, this is the scaling. Innovation is here meaning with the opportunities, role model, creativity, these things are the environmental factor. So, it is only possible when you have some opportunity recognition and we have discussed that curiosity is one of the very important element for opportunity recognition. When you are curious, you are keeping your ears and eyes open all the time then you see the opportunity and then you go on to the path of uh, innovation. And then this model also presents some of the personal characteristics which help in actually materializing these opportunities. If you do not have these uh, personal traits, then though you may uh, see those opportunities, uh, I am a professor, but uh, and I do visualize so many opportunities around me, but since I may not be having these characteristics, personal characteristics, I may not be a risk taking type of person and therefore, I am not entering into those entrepreneurial journey. So, if the environmental characteristics, environmental requirement and the personal phenomena matches, then this process will start and then you have the trigger event and then you go for the implementation also and these things are the part where incubator is going to help us. So, now let us see process of incubation or incubator the term incubation refers to the process of support while incubator stands for the organization and infrastructure that are set up for these purposes. So, as we have discussed that incubator is a type of support system, it provides array of support of different types of facilities which are required in the process of entrepreneurship. Now, because uh, uh, incubator is possible at any stage of your business, theoretically speaking at any stage of business whenever you require any kind of support, you can think of a concept like incubator. So, this is possible even at a stage where you are 4 years, 5 years, 6 years old company, even in that case you may think of going to incubator theoretically speaking. But uh, commonly the word incubator is associated 
with startup incubators. And now what is the meaning of startup incubator? This is a collaborative program designed to help new startups succeed. The sole purpose of a startup incubator is to help entrepreneurs grow their business. So, that is the only idea behind incubators that somebody is requiring some support, somebody is requiring some help and incubator provides that type of support system so that entrepreneur finally gets success. So, incubators help entrepreneurs solve some of the problems commonly associated with running a startup by providing work space, physical space, seed funding, mentoring and training. So, these are some of the common issues which you will find with all the startups. You want to start a business, but uh, you do not have a physical place. So, that is the first important thing. Students in IITs, they normally start, you will read about uh, many startups coming from IIT alumni fr fraternity. So, they started their activities from their hostel rooms. So, they use the first place of their work is the hostel room. So, considering this issue, now in most of the IITs, we have physical incubators where a suitable office space is allocated to prospective incubati or to incubati. So, that you have a feel of corporate culture, you have computers, you have your other office stuff and then you can work in a very organized manner. But there are examples where students from their hostel room have developed successful companies without requirement of uh, or without uh, the support of incubator. But these are some rare examples. We want to develop a structured innovation and therefore, incubators are required. Then we hardly have any money in our pockets. As students, we always work on credits. Even our canteen, you see that uh, all my evening teas are on credits. So, what to talk of uh, money for starting a business? So, you need seed funds. Incubators provide seed funds also. Then, we need somebody who is able to help us, guide us whether we are moving on the right direction or not. That is the role of mentor. So, incubators provide the facilities of mentoring. You have some 50 percent skills in your required area of technology. So, incubators may help to acquire remaining 50 percent of skills also by way of training. So, these are some of the common problems and we will see a very exhaustive list of services which are commonly available in different types of incubators like uh, they will tell you because you are a technology enthusiast. So, you do not know the basics of business. So, most of the new entrepreneurs uh, they face this problem that they do not know how to talk to investor. So, they will take, tell you the basics of business, they will give you the networking opportunities so that you can meet with different types of investors, they will help you in marketing assistance, they will provide you students who can help you with the marketing related problems. High speed internet access is obviously a very common thing. Then uh, you do not know how to make balance sheets, how to make cash flow statements, uh, how to file your returns. Uh, so, there may be a common facility which will help all the incubators in the incubator about these uh, accounting financial issues. Then uh, it will also uh, help you to get loans from bank or uh, other schemes uh, and uh, since you are an incubator of a reputed incubator. So, it automatically may act uh, as a guarantee for getting funds from uh, some other agencies. Then uh, some of the very common thing like uh, helping with the presentation skills, uh, connection to higher educational resources if you are within the incubator of uh, IIT, IIM, I, NIT etcetera. 
So, you are having access to their lab facilities, their library. So, those educational resources are also available to you. So, connections to strategic partners because uh, uh, people keep visiting these types of incubators and uh, everybody is in search of uh, good strategic partner. So, not only you, but other people are also interested to have uh, good partners. So, those types of people uh, will come and uh, you may have uh, opportunity to develop the strategic tie ups with them. Then uh, different types of angel investors, venture capitalist networking with them is also possible, comprehensive business training programs, advisorship, mentorship, uh, management team identification, business etiquettes, technology commercialization assistance, regulatory compliances. Uh, now in India like uh, earlier we used to have cell tax, weight etcetera, now it is moving to GST. So, all the incubators they need to understand that how to apply GST to their business, what are the consequences of implication of GST in India. So, uh, these types of uh, uh, regulatory compliance help is also provided by incubators, uh, then uh, issues related to IP management and legal counsel. So, these are the facilities, it is quite possible that uh, in some of the incubator all these facilities are uh, properly available, in some of the incubators some facilities may not be available, but these are a very uh, exhaustive uh, items uh, which uh, incubators normally provide and therefore, it is uh, desirable to be part of an incubator in initial years of uh, your business. Now, as we discuss that uh, the business incubators main goal is to produce successful firms that will leave the program financially viable and freestanding. So, now if you understand this uh, particular statement, so the meaning is that somebody comes in the incubator and when it is uh, entering, so we say that an applicant is there. You submit your application, your proposal to incubator, this is incubator and if you are admitted you are known as incubati and when you have spent 2, 3 years period inside the incubator as incubati then you graduate and when you are graduating from the incubator. So, we are expecting that you should be financially viable and free standing means you can stand on your own. Now, you do not require any support. As long as you are requiring a support, you are inside incubator, but when you see, when you feel that you are now financially viable, you do not require the seed funding support from incubator, you have developed sufficient investment from other angel investors, venture capitalists or debt funding, then in that case you graduate because now you are a free standing person. So, that is the main objective of uh, incubator. Another important characteristic of incubator is that most of the time it is expected that incubators are non-profit organizations and uh, the idea is basically to support the culture of entrepreneurship. So, uh, these are non-profit organizations and uh, these are running uh, both with public and private entities. And uh, most of the time in our country and not only in our country, but uh, globally also whether you talk of Israel, whether you talk of USA, whether you talk of uh, European nations, whether you talk of Latin America, you will find that uh, incubators are normally associated with universities and technical institutions. Like in our case, uh, uh, in most of the IITs and NITs you find incubators you find incubators in business schools also, particularly like in India, uh, most of the IIMs are having uh, some of the excellent uh, incubators, because uh, the first target population for these incubators are the students of these institutions and the alumni base of these institutions. So, therefore, most of the universities and educational institutes uh, are having the kind of incubator facility. And we discussed all these common services which are normally available in incubator. 
Now, though this classification is not very much required, but uh, to some extent uh, there are some literature which says that incubators can be business incubator, technology incubator, then technology innovation centers and finally, technology business incubators. So, some literature is pointing that different types of incubators are there. So, now let us see quickly what are the different types of incubators. Now, business incubators are basically to support the business development process, where you already have a developed technology. Now, you are trying to develop a business model around that technology. So, these incubators help in developing that business around a particular technology. The technology incubator is a step before the business incubator, where these incubators help in developing or strengthening a particular technology development process. The technology is yet not developed fully, it cannot reach to commercialization level. So, therefore, you require some kind of support mentoring. So, in the business incubator, the mentoring is by the business leaders and in the technology incubator, the mentoring is normally done by the university professors and you go more into the laboratory environment for the technology incubators. You are developing new technology like for an example, uh, energy storage devices. I need to develop efficient energy storage devices. So, some idea is there in my mind that uh, if I use these material in batteries, so we have the efficient batteries with that material, but uh, I am not very sure that what type of characteristics of those batteries will be. So, I require a technology incubator. Now, if I have a developed battery with me and I need to develop a business model whether to develop batteries and sell those batteries or whether to give batteries on rent and I develop the recharging stations for those batteries. So, that is an issue of business incubator. So, depending upon where I am in the entrepreneurial journey, I can go to a technology incubator or a business incubator. But the point is that nowadays it is very difficult to uh, differentiate whether this incubator is a technology incubator or this incubator is a business incubator. Then another type of incubator which is technology innovation centers, centers for developing new technology. So, the TICs conduct research and development and technology innovations required by the industrial field, which aims to jointly invest resources into university campuses or research institutions and achieve commercialization with support from business enterprises or public institutions. So, these are those places where we want to develop a new technology. So, you are comparing technology innovation center with a kind of R and D setup, where uh, you have mentors and you have pooled resources from private organizations as well as from the educational institutions, so that uh, new technologies can be developed. So, that is technology innovation center. And finally, the most comprehensive type of incubator is technology business incubator, where we have combination of technology and business services. You come with relatively a stable kind of technology, where your prototype is almost ready. So, you have developed the technology, but prototype requires some kind of market testing. You need to develop business models around that and you are also ready to make some kind of changes in your prototype. So, you are working simultaneously on both the aspects to refine your product, to refine some of the aspects related to technology which your product is using and then you are also iterating with the business models. So, therefore, TBI technology business incubator 
is a more comprehensive term which is used for incubators now it is and uh, then uh, TBI has uh, different ministries of government of India are developing technology business incubators related to their area of requirement. Technology business incubators are there in the area of biotechnology, technology business incubators are there in area of food processing, technology business incubators are there in area of information technology. So, area specific TBIs, technology specific TBIs are also coming up slowly in our country. So, with this we come to end of this discussion that how incubators are very much required for initial days of your business and with the help of incubators you get that strength in your idea that strength in your business model which will help to work as a free standing financially viable organization when you graduate from the incubator. So, incubator nowadays are almost an essential part of process of entrepreneurship. Whenever new idea is there, go to incubator, take the help of incubators and uh, some of the incubators which are there in the educational setup, they also help you in pre-incubation activities before they admit you as regular incubity, they may help you, they may coach you so that you can refine your idea, you can refine your presentation at the time of uh, presentation of your idea to become a final incubity to the organization. So, they try to help you to come to that level so that your entry into the incubator becomes uh, smooth. Otherwise, uh, you may find some kind of rejection that you apply to an incubator and incubator is not accepting you. So, that may be quite uh, demotivating. So, therefore, uh, to develop the complete ecosystem, incubators are also organizing different types of uh, pre-incubation activities. So, that uh, your label becomes uh, parallel or uh, in line to the requirement of uh, incubator. So, that is what uh, uh, very, very important thing in the process of uh, entrepreneurship journey. So, with this we come to end of this session. Thank you very much.